Hey guys, you guys, one and only. My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. Do these particle effects go behind certain blocks? Like I, like it looks really weird in some spots. It goes like a different color, and I think it's like rendering at like the wrong depth. I don't know. Might just be my eyes. You might not know what I'm talking about. <laughs> We're back today for another episode of the interior. I really want to start to bring our woolly ideas to life, and I think obviously the reception area is going to be the best way for us to test out wall colors uh designs uh, themes that we can have sort of throughout the hospital i think i like the quartz as a floor block i think when you come in and you see the quartz floor it looks so white and clean it looks like a really well kept hospital and i think i like the tiled effect as well i don't usually use like quartz in mass like this but in a hospital i think it works quite well i don't think that you'd want a light block birch wood could work but i think it would take away something i i don't think it would look quite as clinical so i like the white for the walls I don't think I want to use too much snow. The reason being that the quartz, the, the floor is also white. And I think if you have too much white on white, it, it's going to look a little bit too... Uh, uh, too dull, in a way. Too much white is going to be crazy. Yeah, look at the particle effects go behind the glass. Like, like... When it, when it... Yeah, yeah, like that. See how it goes behind the glass? It's really weird. I don't know what's, what it's doing there. Um... Might just be a bug with the version. So, I think we need to go with bricks for the walls. I don't want to use clay or anything like that. The reason being is is I don't want to have, like, down here, you would have brick on one side and then clay on the other. And it would just look really weird. If you're going to do that, you want to have, like, this side clay as well. But if we have brick on both sides, I think it looks, again, it's, it's red. It looks clean. I think it looks really neat. So I think brick is going to be our wall block. So let's get ourselves a wand. And we'll start putting down some walls. Let's go from here to there. Set brick. And we'll start sort of <clears throat> placing these out. I've <clears throat> I'm losing my voice. By the way, today, guys, I apologize. Um, it's not, not e exactly my fault, but I do feel bad. Um, so this is going to be the shop. So we want to make sure that we uh, we put some... Hey, look, the sign stayed. I didn't expect it to. I want to make sure it stays looking like a shop. So with this one, I think we'd probably end up... I think I put the door on this area. Like that. You see the toilets would, would be like there and there. Something like that. Uh, and, and you'd come through here. I don't think we could. I suppose we could have like a little glass window. By the uh, by the stairs here. But that that works like that. Maybe with some, some wool or, or clay. I think blue would work really well. I think this blue is probably going to be used a little bit in the hospital. Because I think it looks like a very sort of clinical colour. I don't, th I don't like that though. I don't think I like that up there either. We'll th when we go a little bit more into detail with that, uh, we'll, we'll go through there. Okay, then this side has a wall as well. So we want this side to go all the way to here. And then we want this side to go to about there somewhere. So I want, I want to try and get like an enclosed area first. This floor will then have the bricks go uh, about about here, something like that, to here. But I got to take these signs off, don't I? So I don't forget plastic surgery, surgery, surgery. And burn unit in it unit. And then we can do that. 
Stick doors back in somewhere. Oh, undo. I must have uh, clicked over the edge. Okay, something like this. Is that in there? Ooh, fell. Yeah, we're good. That's good there. So that goes round. And the top story is okay for this. But then we just need this one. Cave sound. To go like that. And again, we'll just put a little door in there somewhere. Okay. So, oh, I forgot about this bit. Uh, no, that's the, the... I don't need to worry about that. Okay, so we've got this in. Now we need to work out the staircases and the hallways. <clears throat> Voice, come back, please. So I want the uh, the walkway to be four blocks wide everywhere that we possibly can. So like here, I'm going to have to move the staircase back a little bit because we've only got one, two blocks here. So I'm going to have to move this back. I could probably do this. Well, I don't actually need the yellow here anymore, do I? So that would go back like that, which would give me four blocks down the this majority part. I don't think the staircase is going to get too much in the way. I think we can get away with this. Okay. And down there. And on this side... Oh yeah, now it's been moved back here, because this then goes here. Hey, is this two bunny blocks wide? One, two, three. No, that's right, yeah, 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 yeah. That comes out here. Like that. And then the, <clears throat> the elevators go up there. Okay, and then it's four blocks, four blocks, and then it goes a little bit wider there, and that's fine. Beautiful. So now we know that those are spaced out right, we can now work on the staircase uh, and get that to line up and, and, and be the right height. Talking of that, yeah, this is exactly the right height that we need. So, stairs. I think I'm going to go with grey. I don't want to go with quartz because I think it would look a little bit uh, too much sort of, I know, quartz on quartz. You know, that, that the, the age-old problem. So we shall have the stairs coming up here. For the moment... I think I'm going to keep it two blocks wide. Just so we've got like some room to get through here. Because obviously I'm going to have like a banister on this side and that side. Sort of leaves three blocks. Two wide is enough to sort of be able to walk up and down. So I think that would be okay. Um, let's work out a design for the railing though. I Let's take this yellow away. I don't want it to be like... Um, like blocked in so i don't want to have it like like all blocked in i want it to sort of be a a floating staircase so i think we want to put these upside down on the back side just to smooth it off a little bit and then how would we do a banister i want a nice neutral color maybe clay is it's, it's different enough to this to work I think I like that. And then just something on the edge. Uh, cobblestone walls, maybe? Again, it's a nice sort of clinical silver, silvery grey on there. I think that will look nice on, on all of them going around. Okay, let me do that on the other three and I'll be back. Okay, I think that looks really neat. Again, the silver, the grey colours, nice and neutral uh, going there. Now let's work out the banister. So I want I want glass walls, at least on the side. Um, I don't think I want glass floor area. So, like, people that are, are underneath here um, can't, like, look up and see, see under people. I don't think that's very nice. Um, but, like, a nice glass side going around would be good. What do we change this orange to, though? Um, I mean, a nice a nice clay would be fine with me. I don't think I want to put brick, because it would be weird having the brick sort of floating like this. But a nice clay could work. Um, or even that blue that we had earlier. I don't know. I want something... Oh, I think this would probably do it. Again, 
clean white block. Or well, not white, it's white stained clay, but it's it's it's, it's not white. Uh, 159 set. Uh, yeah, set 159. It's not too far off like the brick and the white and stuff, so it, it all blends in quite nicely together. Uh, we don't need it there. We don't need it there. I think I would probably have it like that would be cool. If I do a uh, replace 35-1 with 159. Yeah, and it'll just sort of wrap around like that. I think that would be I think that would look quite neat. Again, don't need it here. Don't need it there. And then we come down to oh, there at least. Bloop. Uh I don't think I need it on this side either, do I? I don't need it there now, because this isn't above. And I don't think I need it here, but I'm going to keep that wall in for the moment. Okay, so if we get glass, we'll get white stained glass, obviously. I think black would look dirty. We'll have this going along here, along here. It's a bit of a shame how that joins up, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to notice it. And then it wraps around on this inside. Yeah, see, I like how that sort of wiggles. It sort of almost follows the curve of the, the circle. It sort of does that same sort of curve. Still keeps it four blocks wide. And then we have this. You know, I could change the cobblestone walls on the stairs to this glass as well. What would that be like? You know, I think it looks a little bit more... What do you think? I think I'm going with the glass. I think I'm going with the glass. I had a really good thing then. <laughs> yeah, I think I like this. I think the glass sort of going in next, you know, near the other white glass and stuff. That that they won't stay as like a cross one once we get once we do that sort of upper level. Again, don't need this one here anymore. This can go away to stop confusing me. Yeah, okay. So we'll do that up here as well. So we'll just do there to there. And then we'll get the glass on top of this. Oh, again, a little bit tight on space. How do I... I can move in the... Yeah, I could m move this in to here, and then that e that gives me even little office spaces down here. Splash. So I can move that into the same as the the brick, uh, same as the stair here on either side. Oh, this is quite cool actually. So then you got like la yeah. It gets around this area now being big enough to have the hallway down to whatever room this is. It's like a little one-off room up in the corner, isn't it? Um, and this side would be uh, would be brick. Let's just make this brick. Boop. To hey, it lines it lines up well with the window as well. What is brick? Is that brick? Don't need this here anymore either. And that gives us little rooms. They're literally, they're literally two block wide sort of rooms. Well, this one can be a little bit bigger. If we've done that. That can be a room. But then these ones are only two blocks. Again, they could be like little storage rooms. Something like that. Up on the top. Okay. Now... How do we do 
well, actually, first, the, the those staircases aren't actually leading to anywhere. Anyway, I've just sort of realised, because we have this on this side instead, how do we actually... We're going to have to get, like, a... Like a... Like a this. I'm sort of copying that sort of... Whoop, and then a whoop on this side. Uh, and then we have like that and like this I think I'll do it like that and then you've got this sort of almost like a H isn't it that sort of goes across Okay, not much point come to this top floor, but um, I don't know, maybe you can just sort of go on a little walk. So now we need to do, like, the the underside of the bridges. What block do we want to sort of have to fill it? I think I want a slab, and that's because it then gives a little bit of a... If I can move it this... Uh, what would be the easiest side for this? Um, underneath here. If I get a slab, um, probably this one, actually would work best mm, or does that look a little bit plain I might go with quartz because that's sort of what we've been walking on on the on the floor below so we do it like this and then on this side obviously you can still see with the banister and stuff but on the underside you just get a little bit of a lip so it just gives a little bit of a shadow a little bit more depth to it so if we fill this in it's not actually all that much to fill in fortunately we've kept them like quite nice and small um, I think we'll probably end up going full blocks in areas like this but we'll see I won't go any further there for the moment okay And again, there's no point in me going any further than this at the moment because I only want to sort of concentrate on the uh, on the sort of foyer area. So underneath here, also, can I fill these in? No, because these are upside down half. These are upside down half slabs, so I can't. I, there is a fill command for it, but I can never remember what it is, so I just never I never bother to learn it. <laughs> I tried to. I remembered it for like three episodes, and then I I forgot it again. Okay, I'll be back. I'm going to just fill in all these these hallways. Okay, all filled in, but I just noticed this area goes to one block. A little bit tight. So, I think if we do something like this, we can just curve it just a little bit, just a smidge like this. Um, that's not the right, that's the right curve. There we go. We just curve it a little bit round here, and I, we now sort of get enough room. If we do it on this side, though, we sort of have to do it on the other side. It would be it'd be weird otherwise. So if we done something like this, and then we fill that in, push us like this. Beautiful. Okay, should look okay from down below. I sort of like that curve as well. Yeah. Okay. So we're getting this like this sort of. Um, layered effect now all the way up and through I, I think that's pretty good this would just be this as well underneath here okay so I'll fill that in a bit uh, so that that will be filled in there that would hide all of that on this side we would have a wall there I can't really do that side until we actually end up building it but the, the elevators here we can do. I think I want to go with the grey. I think the um, stone is a nice sort of clean block for the elevators. So if we had something like this and this. And then down the middle. So it's like a, a four by three. Works nicely for me. Hey, it's Ryan. Does that Hey, we could do four like that. And it works out perfectly. So like four elevators. Good. I like the sound of that. And 
I want it to look like really cool. I think I'm going to add these on here. And that's because, splash me, I'm going to do walls. If we just do like one story of lift. Like this, I can then, we can then sort of plan out a little bit better. My dog's been playing up today, man. They're like in a proper barky mood. They just get like it sometimes. They just get a little bit playful. They need they need a, a good run around outside, I think. Okay. I don't know if you can hear them barking in the background. They keep sort of barking. Okay. So we've got that. Put that in there. Cobblestone walls go up. It just gives a little bit of depth on the doors. I think I'll probably end up doing that up there yeah cool slab um something a little bit different i think so just slightly to give another another color on it maybe a stone would work or or this one i think i like this one i'm gonna replace these oh, it's raining outside see how the color changed and stuff uh, weather clear. Yeah, perfect. Uh, I think that looks pretty neat. On here, we get painting. It's a little bit early to be doing these details, but I'll, I will forget otherwise. Now, if I get this right. Nope. No. Why can you never select what painting you want? Why is that never been a thing in Minecraft? Have the developers always just liked watching a suffer trying to get the exact painting that we want? It's it's always been it's always been a struggle. Oh, look at that first time. Yeah. So they they look like little little buttons on the uh, on the fronts here. Uh I think I want slab I'm just going to drop this down here to give it a little bit of a, a sort of top on the door. Yeah, I think that works out pretty good. Now, I don't want to be able to see this brick on the back. So I think we're going to be forced into making the elevator frame spike, making the elevator a little bit smaller. Still big enough to get a stretcher in, but that's just so we can't see the the brick on the back doesn't make sense you'd ra i'd rather it be a like a full a full gray room oh that's a little bit annoying as well these side ones are going to be a little bit smaller oh no ah mm. no i can i can do it on this side at least and then i'll just go around here and you can put bricks out or something like that ah! Ah! You'd never know. And on this side, I don't think I can. It's really annoying. Okay, on this side. Ah, you know, you know I've got an idea. Why don't we have some of the um, doors just always closed? So, like, iron doors here could work for an elevator door. Do we put them back a little bit? Yeah, like that. So we can have that one closed. That gets around the problem of being able to see those bricks there. And then we'll have the other three open. Or do we close this one as well? Like that. So we've got two open ones, two closed ones. I think the iron blocks work very well for like, um, uh, like elevator doors as well. That looks good. Let me get this all the way up and I shall be back. The struggle is real. Ah, <laughs> got it. Okay, I'm nearly done actually with the uh, with the elevators here. They're looking really cool, and um, I made a little change to the floors of the elevator. I've changed them to uh, like a grey wool, like this, um, just so it makes it a little bit more like uh, like a uh, an elevator floor. Basically, there's nothing really much to it more more than that and uh, Just putting the doors on now. I thought we could do it. So like the different doors are open on different levels So like on this left side, they're all going to be closed up because obviously we've got the brick next to it and We don't want to be able to see that so we put We put these like this but then on 
This one, <clears throat> the floor, the, the, the door's going to be open on the bottom. So we close this one up. Because you're only going to have one door open at a time, aren't you? You see? So that one's open. And then this one can be open at the top. So we'll block this one off. Like that. And this one needs to be blocked. And then we'll have this one blocked off. Uh, if I can get on the right spot. And this one, I think, blocked off. Uh, just get in there. So now we've got the left side is shut all the way down. Yeah. But the second one is open on the bottom, the third one is open on the top, and that one is open on the second floor. So they're, they're all open on different ones. And this one, they're all closed because the lift is moving. Ta-da! Makes sense. Got all the buttons going all the way up. I think it looks really cool. If we get some, like, redstone torches, maybe, um, to go above... Oh, it's not centred, is it? Maybe I'll just put, like, different double ones along. Hey, it'd be really cool if we could just get the blue... Yeah! Like, any any of those ones. It almost looks like a little TV screen. And I think there's, there's two of them. So, there's one with the flowers, and there's one with a creeper head. So, it's sort of twice the chance that we get <laughs> the one that we need. Now, I have spotted, though, another problem... If I get up here, at the top here. Uh, let me just get these paintings on and I'll show you. Yeah, this is a good painting to go for. Because they're twice as likely to get to get it. Uh, uh, eh, uh, there we go. And that's now that this area, look, is one block. So, <laughs> we need to adjust this again. Uh, I'll put this down here. I'll put these on here. And then I cut this back. Now this does make the the curve a little bit different, obviously, now. So we'll just check that out. If we like how it is, we'll keep it how it is. If not, we just have to move the curve back a little bit as well. You know what? I like that. It's a little bit more of a squished curve. So we can now get on. Oh, I need to put the floor down. Wool. Up here. So you don't fall to your death. And here oh 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 good i can i can do this i forgot we need a ceiling on these as well don't we <laughs> sort of forgot about that as well okay so ceiling on that one a uh, ceiling on that one and ceiling oh talking of the night vision potion We'll need some lights in here as well. Nice fluorescent light. We'll wait for it to run out so we can sort of make sure. I think we do it like that. In the elevators. Oh, that looks quite cool. I don't know how we're going to light up the entire hospital yet. Not really quite sure. I don't really want to do the same thing as what we've done in the supermarket. Which is to uh, use the entire floor as the light source. And then cover it with carpets. Because it's not... It, 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 we can't we can't do it with quartz i could do it with white carpet and have white carpet on top of everything i don't know maybe we'll get forced into it we'll we'll have to wait and see at the moment i really don't know painting i need buttons on the inside but can i really well it's only three it's only three i need to do i need to get three paintings of this type to go behind there. I didn't think that it would be able to do the two high paintings with the light there, but obviously it does. Oh, yeah, okay. One more. One more. Wrong one. Wrong one. Yeah! Okay, sweet. Night vision. So then in the middle here, that looks that looks pretty cool, like with all the paintings and stuff going up there. Really? Yeah. I like that. I can imagine this would say like the number that it was or something like that or that it was going to or you're calling it or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Good. Uh, ceiling. We're running out of time seriously for this episode. Um, but ceiling. Uh, what would we have? Would we just stick it with quartz? Probably actually. Um, 
I'm going to fill this in with quartz here as our last thing to do. And, uh, and then I think we're going to have to call it quits, okay? I'll be back. All right, so I've put a little design on the ceiling. It's like a, a mirror, basically, of the little circle that we've got at the bottom that we still need to put a tree into, but we, we're just not going to have time this episode. Um, but yeah, check this. I've just got these last sort of few remaining lines to do. I always find it quicker to go, like, around the the outside and the sort of area that you're doing gets smaller and smaller and smaller. It makes it feel like it goes quicker, I think, to me. Okay, I think this is the last line. Yeah. Okay, so if I just drop down here, look, that's the same circle as what's down here. And I just put a square around the outside of it. And I think it looks pretty neat. I think it looks, we're keeping that clinical look. Oh, I forgot to do this area. Oh, hang on, let's just do this. Um, we're, we're keeping that sort of nice, clean, clinical look. It looks a little bit white, maybe, at the a little bit too white, maybe, at the moment. Um, but it's going to be really hard until it's finished. We've got all of the details in place uh, before we know if, if we need to sort of, uh, like, like, change anything. We want a lot of plants and stuff, you know, on the inside here. Obviously, we're going to have the tree in the middle. Uh, so that's going to sort of help take a, a little bit away of all of this white. But I want like little plant. I might even make the uh, roof have, have leaves on. That could look really nice. Do you know what I mean? And have a little bit more of a, a green roof. But at the moment, I'm actually really happy on how this is looking. Maybe we'll just put those underneath the stairs there it sort of hides up that that front doesn't it yeah all right guys if you enjoyed it hit that like button. if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe i love these elevators and we shall see you in the next episode